Hello and welcome to Divi Coaching. Uh, this tutorial is about child themes and more specifically a blank child theme template. So there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to create a blank child theme template and lots of samples for you to download, uh, including one of my own from 2021. Without exception, these use, well, that's not true, with almost no exception, these use the same bit of code to call the uh, style sheet. So in the functions.php file, which is part of the child theme, there is code which loads the style sheet. And this code, when I put my tutorial together, was the code that was being used at the time. And most tutorials were based on that. And in fact, most tutorials right up until today are still using that code. The problem with it is that it doesn't take account of version control, uh, which means that you can have all sorts of issues with caching and, um, and changes to your site not showing up on the front end. So what I'm going to do is go through uh, what those issues are and show you how you can fix them. OK, so let's have a look at the issue and then we can talk through how to sort it out. So I have a new installation of WordPress here. I've got the Divi theme installed and I'm now going to install a child theme. Child theme that I'm going to install is the version that I produced for a tutorial back in 2021. Um, at the time, that was the code that everyone was using. Um, and in fact, now that pretty much is still the code that everyone's using. But I'll explain later on how we're going to improve on that. So I'm going to click on Upload Theme, choose File, and I'm going to upload my original child theme and click on Install. Once the installation is complete, I'm going to click on Activate. And we can now see on the themes page that the Divi Coaching Divi Child theme 2021 is the active theme. If we go into the theme file editor, we can see there are two files. So if we look up here, it says Divi Coaching Child theme, the style.css file, which simply has this comment, and the functions.php, which is the code that is used to load that style file. So now that I've set this up, um, I'm going to go into my site and you can see I've simply created a text module and in that text module I've got a heading and some copy. So I'm going to write a tiny little bit of CSS just to demonstrate the issue here and the CSS I'm going to write will be to um, colour this H1 heading. So let's go into the Visual Builder. I'm going to come into the heading, into the settings. I'm going to click onto the Advanced tab, go into CSS ID and Classes and I'm going to paste in my class, which is DC my head. And I'm going to save. I'm going to save again. And I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. So now that I've set a class for this heading, I can go to my dashboard. I can go to Appearance and Theme File Editor. And I can add my tiny bit of CSS in here to color that heading. So I'm going to be targeting my class. Uh, so that class I've assigned to the text module. So then within that text module, I want to be targeting the H1, pair of curly braces, color red, and a semicolon. And I'm going to click to update the file. So now when I go back to the page, I should see a red heading. So let's do that, visit site, but my heading's still black. So, okay, I'll reload the page. Maybe that's what I didn't do. My heading's still black. Um, now, the reason for that is because I visited this page before, my web browser has cached a copy of the style.css file. And because it hasn't changed, it's still the same name. Um, because it doesn't understand versions or anything, it's just used its cached copy because as far as it's concerned, there's no difference. So I can force it to reload it by holding down the shift key and again reloading the page. It still doesn't go red. So the reason for that is that I've got um, Cloudflare enabled on this site. Now, it may well be, depending on who you use for your service provider, that they could be caching at any number of different levels. And you can see this is starting to get really annoying. Um, this could be a client looking at a site that I've amended for them. It could be one of their customers. And basically, you'll be getting a phone call saying, I can't see the changes that you're making. And you can't even see the changes yourself. So in order to get around this issue, I've got to find out where that cache is. So in my case, I know it's a Cloudflare cache, which is not that easy to say. So I'm going to purge the cache. Um, it says it may take up to 30 seconds, so this may not work the first time. I'm going to reload the page again. 
Uh, it actually has worked and I now have my red heading. Now I have to go through this every time I want to make a change. And as I say, it can get pretty boring. I mean, I can disable the Cloudflare cache, but I still have to uh, reload the page and do a hard reload to clear my browser cache every time. So just to demonstrate that that um, happens each time, I'm going to go back here again. I'm going to change the color to green. I'm going to save to update the file back to my site and it's still red. It hasn't gone green. Um, so again, I'm going to refresh, I'm going to do a hard refresh, still red. So again, I have to clear the Cloudflare cache and then do a hard refresh on the page to get my green heading. So maybe it is something to do with versions. Um, let's go back to the dashboard, back to appearance, back to the theme file editor. So what you'll notice in the style.css file is that it says version 1.0.0 here. So maybe if I update that to 1.0.1, maybe if I now change this, I don't know, let's say to pink, because I've updated the version, maybe it'll understand that. And when I go to the page, it'll be pink. Unfortunately not, still green. So it's obviously not looking at the version number. And there really is the nub of the whole thing in that this version of the code that we're using in the functions.php file doesn't take into account the version of the style.css file. It doesn't, when you, when you update the style.css file, um, even if you change the version number on it, the functions.php doesn't know that and it doesn't tell the browser or any other caches that you've got in place that it needs to load a new version of the page. So let's look at how we can fix that issue. So luckily there is a little bit of help out there on this. So there's a good article on the uh, Elegant Themes website. So written by uh, Jason Champagne, it was uh, updated in September. And if you scroll down, I mean, well worth reading through this, I'll put a link in the description. You will find some updated PHP code, only a little bit longer. And in this code, if you look through it, you'll start to see this get version. And again, down here in where the child theme is loaded, it's saying get version. It adds a version control to your style.css file. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this um, child theme to use the new code. Now, rather than go through editing or, or anything like that, I've uh, wrapped all of this up into a brand new child theme 2024 and using the new code. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go into appearance. We're going to reactivate the Divi theme. And we're then going to delete this version of my child theme. And I'm going to upload the new one, which is this one. And install, activate. And this is a new version of the code. You can see it says Divi Coaching 2024 on it. You can see that I've made a small change to the style.css file. It now says, do not edit above this line apart from updating the version number. So, and then another note saying, please make sure you update the version line each time you update this file. So by updating this line here that says version, the functions.php file will be loading the latest version of your style.css file. And that will do away with the caching issues that we had earlier. So to prove that that's the case, we're going to come back into the style.css file. We're going to add in my selector again, my h1. And this time, let's go with to say green yellow. And I need to update the version. So I'm just going to go straight to say 1.2, let's say 1.2.1. .1. But obviously, you need to just manage the versions yourself and then update the file. And this time, when I go straight back to the site, it's immediately the green yellow color that I wanted. So that's all you need to do. It's pretty straightforward, really. You just need to install a new version of my child theme and that will solve the problems. Um, as ever, if you are going to make changes to your functions.php file or you are going to install a child theme, you need to be very careful that you haven't got information already existing in a child theme uh, that you're going to lose. So make a full backup of your site. Uh, if you already have a child theme, then I would suggest that you uh, go into the functions.php file and the copy that you want is usually going to be found at the beginning 
but you need to be really careful that you're really just selecting this part, uh, which is the part that deals with loading the child style. Um, so uh, just make sure that you do that and be careful. If you're starting from scratch and you're installing a child theme for the first time, then simply upload the version that I've linked to in the description below uh, and that'll do it for you. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. If you have, please do give it a like and maybe a comment and please do subscribe to my channel for some more content. Thank you very much and see you next time.